Yeah, apparently a few more yet to go. This appears to be an ongoing situation here in Taylorsville. The home has been condemned, and there are crates outside. And it, you know, after being here for hours yesterday, animal control officials taking out dozens and dozens of animals, it appears they still may have a few more to get out of that residence. And the initial uh, entry into the home had to be made by officers in full-on hazmat gear. It was a very difficult situation for them to encounter inside the home. A little later on after that, our Fox 13 cameras were rolling as animal control personnel who were wearing masks and rubber gloves made constant trips inside and out. At times, bringing out three, four, five animals at a time and uh, just taking them uh, away to a local shelter. Meanwhile, a man who lives next door telling Fox 13 that he'd been trying to alert officials to the situation here for quite some time, as long as a couple of years. He figured the situation inside was bad, but it was even worse than he anticipated. Nighttime, on feeding time, it would sound like the Humane Society. Uh, just an immense barking noise of, you know, I, I assume maybe 10, 15 dogs, but apparently it was much bigger than that. Yeah, animal control estimates upwards of 100 or more animals. Many of them dogs uh, were taken from the home. And again, it sounds like there still may be a few more in there. And it appears as though animal control officials will be back out here today. Uh, the director of the West Valley Animal Shelter, he describes the conditions inside this home as, quote, horrendous. And that a lot of the animals that were inside appears as though some of them may have never been outside. And uh, they're trying to gauge now the condition that these animals are in to see if they are rehabable and potentially able to be put up for adoption. Those are still a lot of questions left to be answered here, but uh, just a difficult situation here in Taylorsville. We'll continue to follow this one and bring you more as we get it. For now, we're live in Taylorsville. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.